Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back. In today's video we are going to be creating this card that was inspired by this card that was designed by design team member Jody Collins. And we're going to be using the fun new margarita shaker window and frame die along with the martini shaker window and frame die. So these dies are a lot of fun not only because they are the shape of a fun cocktail glass but they also can be turned into shakers and that's the intent of this design. They have an opening in the center that can be used with the coordinating shaker pouches which we're going to use here in just a minute. So before we get to the shaker part of it I do want to add some inking to my glasses just to add a little bit of color to them. So I've die cut them both from white cardstock and for the martini glass we're using some twisted citron distress inks. This is just a really great lime colored ink that's going to pair really nicely with that margarita glass. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm adding it to the interior piece which is going to be the backer of our shaker area. So we are going to see that so I do want it green in color. And then I also added that same green color to the frame at the very top of the glass. For the bottom portion, we're going to use hickory smoke, and I'm going to be very light-handed with this. I don't really want the glass to appear gray. I just want it to appear clear, so we're just doing a little bit of shading to kind of give it that effect. Once I had the margarita glass finished, I moved on to the martini glass, and this one we're doing all with hickory smoke, so I did a little bit of shading on that interior piece, and now I'm doing the same with the actual glass shape. And I'm just adding that gray color to the sides of the glass as well as the stem just to give it some really nice shading. And then once I have that done, we're done with our inking and we can start to work on the shaker portions. So I have these great new frosty ice cubes. I love these little tiny things. They look like little tiny ice cubes that fit really nicely inside of both of these glasses. It's just a really cool look and really makes them look realistic. In addition to those ice cubes, I'm also going to be using some clear crystals as well as some sequin colors, mainly yellows and greens with a little bit of some light gray color. And I'm going to add these into the shakers. So the first one up is the martini glass, so I added some eighth inch score tape on the back of that die cut piece, and then I put the shaker pouch directly in the opening. They're already sized to fit perfectly. And for the martini glass, I'm using some crystal gems, and I'm also adding some green sequins to mimic olives. Once I have everything in there, I'm going to put the backer piece on, and I'm just using some score tape to secure that in place so that it stays against the back of the glass. And I'm not going to end up removing the backing on this score tape. I'm just using it as an adhesive to hold the backer onto the shaker, but I will add more adhesive once I add it to the card. So now you can see our finished shaker martini glass, and we can move on and create our margarita glass. So for this one, we're going to follow the exact same steps. I've added the score tape to the back of that frame, and I'm just putting the shaker pouch directly into that window opening, and this one, once again, is sized to fit perfectly in there. And then I'm going to put my shaker stuff inside. So for this one I did use the ice cubes and I also used the crystal gems and a bunch of different sequins. So I have the yellow and the green and I have a couple sizes of the yellow ones. And then I also added in a little bit of those gray ones just for a little bit of contrast. And then I'm going to seal this one up the same way I did with the martini glass. So I'm just going to take that backer piece and put it in place. And then I'm just going to use some score tape to hold it there. And this is just going to make sure that none of my sequins or beads or anything fall out when I assemble the card. I love how quick and easy it is to create these fun shaker cards and I just think they are perfect for so many occasions from New Year's to birthdays to summer. Just so many great ways that you can use these. So now you can see I have them both finished. I love how they turned out. I love all of that stuff kind of inside of those glasses and I especially love those really cute ice cubes. So now that we've finished creating our glasses, we can go ahead now and create the rest of the card. So I have two panels here that I have die cut with a stitch rectangle die. I have a piece of white cardstock as well as a black and white stripe pattern paper piece. And this one here I'm going to trim down so I just have a strip of it. I did use the rectangle die on it so that when we add it to the white panel everything is going to line up and we're going to have that continuous stitch look around the outside edge. But I only want a small piece of this for the left hand side of the card. I added the stripe piece of pattern paper directly to that white panel and I'm going to add this completed panel to our card base. This card base is a top folding four and a quarter by five and a half inch card and we're going to have a little bit of a white border all the way around the panel that we're adding to the front. And you can see when we add those finished cocktail glasses how nice and big they are so they're really the focus of the card design. Now for the sentiment we're going to use the spirited sentiment stamp set. This is full of sentiments that coordinate really nicely with both of these cocktail glasses and I'm going to stamp this onto a black sentiment strip with some Versamark ink. Versamark ink is just a clear sticky ink that's going to allow us to heat emboss this with white embossing powder. So I'm just adding that embossing powder onto my stamping and I'm just going to take it to my heat gun and heat set that. And now you can see we have this really bright white sentiment on that black cardstock strip. 
Okay, so now that we have all of our pieces ready to go, we can assemble the card. So I'm first adding the martini glass directly onto the card base. I just added some more adhesive to the back of that and adhered it directly on there. And then for the martini glass, this one is going to have a little bit of dimension since it's going to overlap the martini glass. So I did add some foam adhesive to both the stem as well as the right hand side. And that's just going to make sure it's fully supported in the areas that are kind of raised off the card. For the sentiment strip, I also added that same foam adhesive since we are going to be layering this over the martini glass, which also has the foam adhesive. So I just made sure to leave an opening where the stem of the glass is going to go. And then I'm just going to layer this directly over top. And then once I have that in place, the last thing I need to do is just add a little bit of embellishment. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some green sequins kind of scattered around. I like the contrast of having that green color on the white card base. And then I'm also going to use my Nouveau glitter pen and add glitter all the way around that whole entire martini glass. It just really gives it a lot of sparkle and shine and really adds to the overall design of the card. And then once I have finished that, we have finished our card and we now have this really fun cocktail themed birthday card with the great shaker elements and those really fun ice cubes and the crystals and all of the sequins inside. So thanks so much to Jody for creating this card that we were able to recreate in today's class. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching.